Yo, friend of folk. Yo, state your biz. I can get a tryout with the pro team here. Ever did decide to, you know, really do Project 45, I'll be playing right here in front of the crowd. You know what I mean? Doing it again. Project 45, we still might be in there. We still might can do it. I'm 100% passionate about that. I think, I, I think absolutely finances can be, um, you know, create obstruction for kids getting involved in things, and it shouldn't. Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday, August 31st, 2024. And we have 62 days before we launch the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. It is 9.17 a.m. in the morning. And I have a customer discovery meeting at 9.30. And... I'm going to be brief. Last night, it happened again. I gave out work. I played eight games. We won six out of eight. And it felt really, really good to play eight games. But man, am I paying for it a little bit today? You know, one of the most realest things I've ever heard was when this philosopher named Jay-Z, he starts a song and he says, yo, friend of foe, yo, state your biz. Um, it's a great way to start a conversation. Not verbally but by thinking that right by just reading people is this person a friend or is this person a foe like what's what's their business that they want with me right think about that and just let that sink in because if you look at like relationships or you meet people on the street see where I'm from you have to figure out people pretty fast their motives you have to read the room you, you know you have, it's because you just don't know who is who you can have an old friend and y'all were like tight tight like best friends but then they know that you coming up on some money or they try or 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 they know that you being successful and that old friend that was your best friend but set you up to get killed this is real things. I remember something like that happened to me where an old friend I was tight with, like literally was trying to set me up to get robbed. And I had to, I had to navigate to see what was happening, the patterns of what was, you know, like how that could happen and, and how I could not make it happen. And I had to think fast on my toes because it was a deal going through for some real estate and it was like a cash deal and he was having to trying to have a person line me up so I had to navigate because we was already deep into the deal and then the guy that he's trying to have line me up he's trying to have him um, pressure me right yo man when can I get my when can I get my feet when can I get my feet so friend of foe state your biz you know uh last night i found out that one of the guys he's a good player he's a very good player one of the guys that we play with owns the professional team here in cartagena and every time he gets a piece of me i give him the business because he's a good player anytime i guard him i don't go for his fakes or anything because he has a lot of a lot of fakes and He's just, he's just a solid player. He's 51 years old. And uh, he owns the team in Cartagena. He's been owning them for three years. And I talked to him yesterday. I'm like, yo, I didn't know he owned it. He had a jersey on. I was like, yo, uh, yo, what's you know, what's what's his jersey? You affiliated? He was like, well, I, I kind of own the team. I've been owning them for three years. 
I'm like, oh man, that's what's up. So yo, can I get a tryout? Project 45, baby. <laughs> Project 45. We still might be in there. We still might can do it. Again, I'm not ready. And I know I said last video, a couple videos ago, I wasn't going to talk about basketball, but I am. I'm going to talk about basketball. This is part of my life. It's a huge part of my life. But, man, I, I can get a tryout with the pro team here. I know the owner. I play with him Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You know what I'm saying? I got to give the... It can happen. Maybe not this session, but maybe the next session. We get the stem in the shoulder. We get the stem in the knee. We go hard and working out. Man, would that be something? Project 45 is still is it's still alive. It's still alive. Um it's Saturday. Spirits is good. I played good last night. And uh like I said, I have a customer discovery meeting. So I'm going to get ready for that. I don't know this guy at all. I've never seen him, never talked to him, only through text. So we'll see how this goes. Of course, I'll film it so you guys can see some of it, how I do how I do customer discovery. Hopefully, my hypothesis is true and I'm getting better at custom, customer service and I leave out of here more confident. I'm also going to see Blaze play today. Blaze is a young 13-year-old from uh, Atlanta. His father, his mother, and him, they stay here in Cartagena, so they stay in different places of the, uh, of the world. He's a good player. You know, you might have seen him on some of my videos hitting some threes or whatever. I love to play with Blaze, and I'm going to go watch him play at 1 p.m. So, all right, guys, I'm out. It is 9.23, so yes. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Nichols, what's up, man? How are you? Man, I'm well, man. Mr. Mark. St how you say how you say your last name? Stalker. Stalker. Okay. Yeah. How, how long? Do I have that right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, how how long have you been at Nichols? Uh, this is going into my. Let me do my math. Uh, this will be my a fifth year. Fifth year. Okay. 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 Yeah. Super, and that's what I'm saying. There, the, the, like again, from a nostalgic standpoint, for me, it'd be super, right? right. For some, you know, legitimacy standpoint, it'd be great too, because right. Right. you know, I'm Absolutely. 56 years old, and you know, I ruptured the kid. You know, I played basketball three nights a week, pretty, pretty in the best men's league around mm -hmm. into my early 40s, right? Mm -hmm. So, but that was. 13 years ago, 12, 13 years ago. Then I ruptured my Achilles. Then I had um, a knee problem. Then I had a head to have hip replacement. So you, you sort of the, just the, you know, and, and again, from graduating college till forties, I was a three night a week guy with right. a lot of the guys that I played with. I mean, I could not be around it enough. And even when we had our kids, but so yeah. documenting it from my own perspective from, wow, well, it'd be cool to see. Right. What Number about two. What about, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, so number two would be, hey, from a coaching perspective, showing your athletes like, hey, listen, the game may have evolved and there may be Euros and pro hops and all this stuff that we didn't have back then. But, you know, where it's evolved individually, um, some of it is eroded as it related to just kids understanding spacing. You know what I mean? Like that's one of the craziest things to me. Kids don't necessarily understand spacing, right. you know, nor do they understand uh, decision making as well as I think we did back when I played. But you kind of had to. Um, so I think that would be number two is showing some of that. And, the, and, and I think parallel, the third one would be if that helps in the journey along the way, then, then it's great. I mean, I have I got an old video when I uh, Christian Leitner is a real close friend of mine. Uh -huh. And when I was in, he's a couple of years younger than me. When I was in high school, Nichols had a powerhouse team with him. And there were two guards, uh, Ronnie and Ricky Torgowski. And they were just a, you know, a nightmare together. Uh -huh. um, and I, and my dad had a video, old VHS video of me, me going into the paint and Leitner. And they might even have been playing a zone or maybe they're playing a zone out of a, a, a baseline out of bounds play. 
and and I penetrated through the Torgowski got in the middle and did a floater before they were even floaters because I had no other choice because they're a six eleven guy. And he's got this video and yeah. it went in. You know what I mean? It went right over the top of him. And ironically, my coach, his name is John Roth. He was just in uh inducted into the Western New York Hall of Fame of Sports. But the week before that we practiced the B team, our second team had badminton rackets in the paint. And we practice that way. So that little clip of video, like, is super valuable to yeah. me. And when my dad's 78 years old and he'll pop it up when I'm over, he's like, hey, want to watch that Leitner thing? I'm like, yeah, dad, let's watch it. And then, you know, like I got just my senior photo from Fredonia. In class, there were only two of us that were seniors that were still playing. And I started with 11 guys at Fredonia. Right. You know, they right. that's how many just – it wasn't for them. It was too much work. They weren't playing. Whatever the reason, the attrition rate at college sports is enormous. Yeah. So, you know, long-winded way of saying documenting all of that yeah. would be the coolest thing in the world. Absolutely. I would have done it for both of my boys in a, in a heartbeat. And if anyone had asked me what the motivation was, uh, you know, again, taking my older one who could have played, maybe there would have been some benefit for that that wouldn't I wouldn't even need it for that I would have just said my older son's name is Marcus my younger son's name is Will I would say we're doing this and one day it's going to really matter to you because you're going to look it's and it's the things I talk to kids now about it it runs parallel when I last year we had a senior who didn't come out and I said you know I called his dad and I said can I can I come and talk to Jack for a little while like I'm going to try to be you in 10 years Jack or 15 I'm going to show you what it feels and looks like because right. you're going to look back on this decision for the rest of your life. So what I what I've been kind of my idea is is this sports technology platform. It's an all-in-one platform that's dedicated for athletes. So you you have Instagram where athletes post their videos, but with Instagram you don't want to post all your videos, right? You just want to post highlights and things like that. You have. Yeah. You have GoFundMe where some athletes may say, hey, or parents may say, I want to raise money for this camp, right? Yeah. Um, but then you have things like Facebook where you kind of want to, you know, build a community. So this platform is an all-in-one dedicated for an athlete for them to capture their sports journey, uh, store that sports journey, share that sports journey, build a community, and also that community can support that athlete yep. all, in, all in one place. So when I say store and I say like capture, it's organized. So let's just say that highlight that you have with Leitner, it would have the year that it happened. You could, you could, you could upload it. You could have the year and it also will have highlight, right? So you have yep. categories, your story. Okay game film, training, highlights. So it's organized, you know, and a coach like you may be interested in to a kid that's in eighth grade, maybe coming to Nichols. You can go to, this thing is called a dreamer's ball. You can go to his ball and actually see more of just highlights of what this kid yeah. is about. You can see his yeah, you can learn about the kid. Right? Yeah. And yeah. all of those things are stored in one place because most people, like you said, you have that video on a VHS. Most people have their videos everywhere. It's no yeah. dedicated platform where somebody has their athletic journey from start to end in one dedicated place. And that's what the solution that we are building to the problems of uh, storing, sharing yeah. that athletic journey um building a community and also being able to raise money for whatever whether it be a camp all in one dedicated place and that's what you know so i'm doing these these re this research to see people to see what are the things that people in the industry are having problems with and would this be a solution for that Is absolutely i think it's a great idea i think it's a great idea and again, I own a, I'm a, I'm a businessman as my primary, mm -hmm. you know, entrepreneur, yeah. certainly leaning. So, um, I think, I think just because you can have so many benefits from it, right. I think that's where you, that's where it really, meaning if the journey doesn't turn out to be 
or the destination doesn't turn out to be what they think it's going to be early on, mm -hmm. right? Because I, you know, I, I remember on my eighth grade team, I used to say to some of the parents, as kindly as I could, right, as as gently as I could, I would say, if your kid's in eighth grade and he's averaging twenty a game and he's a starter, be happy, enjoy this part, but also understand that really means nothing is senior year. Customer discovery meeting with Coach Stalka. Um, very, very good meeting. One of the best. It's, it, it's almost like it's getting better. Stalker. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I had his name right. So customer discovery meeting with Coach Stalker. Uh, he's a coach at Nichols High School in Buffalo. And man, one of the best customer discovery meetings that I've had so far. Wow. Uh, this is going to be something. This is going to be something big. I'm just trying to prepare myself for any pitfalls, for anything that could derail it, any competition that may sneak behind. But this is going to be something for sure. This is going to be something for sure. This is going to be something big. And um, very, very good insight. He also mentioned being good friends with a legend from Buffalo, a legend in basketball, Christian Leitner. He also mentioned that he's an entrepreneur and has 50 employees. He also mentioned, not by me asking, but if I'm looking for funding, he may have people to help in that aspect. He has two sons. One of, this, one of his sons plays on the team now and his other son played all four years but did chose not to play moving forward he's a former basketball player and very very good insight in what this platform is also without visually seeing it he mentioned huddle using huddle he also mentioned a player of his that played that he coached all the way from T-ball that's playing college that reached out to him for support and he sent him a link from an app and he was able to pay. So that's our support, support my dream feature, right? And he, that player had a community in him that he could reach out for support, right? So we have that aspect. You know, we don't have everything covered. You know, we don't have everything covered, but we have a lot covered in this vision. And every single day, I just get more and more excited about this. Uh, great customer discovery meeting. And um, yeah, I'm going to go see Blaze play at one o'clock. So it's about 11 o'clock right now. So I'm going to go get something to eat. And. Um, Man, he's going to also give a referral. Coach Stalker is going to give a referral for another kid, and we're going to keep this thing going. Uh, it is 11, uh, 1043 right now, and I'm going to cut. Another Saturday, another soccer game. Another dream watching soccer game. All right, so I'm here at Blaze game. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful, beautiful facility right here. Definitely a beautiful facility. You know? 
It's got a, they got that bouncy floor right here. This is a joint you catch bodies on. Oh, back in my day, I would have caught a lot of bodies in here. Straight dunking on fools. But yeah. Yeah, so chilling at Blaze game Saturday. It's like 1 11. Everybody get it on. In this beautiful facility. You feel what I mean? If I ever did decide to, you know, really do Project 45, I'd be playing right here in front of the crowd. You know what I mean? Doing it again. You know? So yeah, we're gonna catch a little bit of this game and then uh, take it home or whatever. But yeah, beautiful facility.